Yo, what's good everybody, man? It's your boy Kobe and uh Nick Sheesh. Today y'all we got episode number six of Assassin's Creed Mirage. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far, man. We got a very, very special thing that we are about to do for this episode. Now you remember I told you guys I got a couple of DLC outfits. This is what we're going to do. We're gonna just go ahead and go to our menu real quick, go to our inventory. You know what I'm saying? Probably in the next couple of episodes I'll change, but we got the Fire Demon outfit. We got the Zanje Uprising outfit that we can use that we found in that chest. This is a DLC outfit. So these three right here are three uh, DLC outfits right here, I think. Let me see. Yeah. So two. I don't know if this is a DLC outfit. No, I think it's just these two. So I got two DLC outfits. We got this one. And we got the Demon one. I might say I'm going to go demon this game. I'm on demon time, so I'm going to probably... Well, actually, no. Nah, I'll say that for later. I'm going to go with the gin outfit. Fear and sickness spread from ancient evils. Affiliations applied to enemies last 100% longer. Yeah, I'm going to go with this one. We got outfit die, too. That's pretty cool. Um, Swords. Lightning sword. That is crazy. We got the Zanje Uprising sword. The Gen Sword. Because I think that's my outfit, right? The Gen outfit, yeah. So we're going to use the Gen Sword. I think I got the Gen Dagger as well. Like, it's going to be cool. So with the Gen Dagger, um, parrying an enemy under an affiliation increases the affiliation duration by four seconds. Cool. And Talesman. Go ahead and equip that. We don't got to have a Talesman, but that's pretty sick, though. And yeah, got the outfit, got our stuff. I think we did our attributes already as well. As far as like upgrades, we got no skill points at this time, which is all good. So now we are going to make our way with Ali. We're gonna regroup with him. Gotta meet him in the uh, water mill. But like I told you guys again, man, it's episode number six. I'm not gonna hold y'all boys up. Hobby? Enjoy the episode. All credit where it is due, for this man came to my aid at my darkest hour. And from what I have heard, I am not the only one. I will pay a great tribute to you in a chronicle of our exploits. But we must first write the end of it. Come. I see you two have met. Only briefly. But the night is young and there is much to discuss. About what you can procure for me. Our means are limited. But rest assured, I will listen to your needs, Ali. Later. Share what you know about al Ghul, so that Bassem may do what he's come here to do. Yes, yes, yes. Your affairs before mine. But just this once. Al Ghul sends orders to the prison guards detailing where to dig around Baghdad. But it's not just prisoners he's using. There is a promissory note for workers here. It looks like Al Ghul arranges to purchase migrant laborers as well. Who in Baghdad could make these sorts of arrangements without raising suspicion? There is but one man, Masoud Al Yaqub. He runs Baghdad's soap mills. Finds paying work for foreign settlers, most of them Persian. So he forces these laborers into working his dig sites, all under the guise of providing them with a livelihood. Meshi! <sighs> he tracked down one of Al Ghul's dig sites, posed as a prisoner. What happened? The search turned up nothing, but that did not stop the guards from trying to silence us. I cracked one skull and fled. I doubt the others were as lucky. A foolish thing to do with nothing to show for it. Not nothing. Al Ghul will be at the Karawansarai. I overheard the guards talking. Of course. Merchants from all over stop there to rest. If Mas'ud is buying migrant workers, it is likely the Karawansarai is where he conducts his affairs. What does he look like? He is a large man. Favors adornments like jewels and silks from the east. Then he will be hard to miss. A 
It is time, Basim. What is your plan? That will be for Basim to decide. Basim? Alone? No. Let me gather some men. Don't allow for foolish spectacle. Your day to display your prowess will come. But this day belongs to Basim. Consider it part of our agreement. Basim? I'm ready. Let's get it. I am ready. Then walk with me. It's gonna be something. Outfit looking clean as hell. Come, Basim. We must press on. An order member is within our reach, Basim. And like those before and those yet to come, al Ghul's death will be just. This is a man who preys off the desperate and the disenfranchised. And such atrocities will only continue, for al Ghul is but a cog in a larger wheel, one that spins destructively. So long as it does, we hidden ones will make it our mission to slow it to a stop. Today, you will lend your hand, your blade, to very mission. And while al -Ghul is your first target, he will not be your last. I have great belief in that, and in you. Through all my stoicism, my harsh lessons, know that you have impressed me, Basim. The Order's presence in Baghdad and beyond rests on shifting sands so long as you remain at the tip of our spear. And that is where I intend to remain. Beholden to your guidance, Master. As busy as a beehive. Come, set your sights on the trial that await. Merchants, livestock, caravans from all walks. And I thought Anbar's markets were disorderly. Where there is disorder, there is chaos. And chaos can bring opportunity. See what avenues present themselves. Be reactive, but patient. And trust your instincts. That is Mas'ud, on the balcony, just as Ali described. I see him. Go now, wet it with the blood of the slain. I will find you when it is over. You think your cruelty's well hidden, Al Ghul. For you chose those with little voice whose cries you knew would go unheard. They dug at your bidding, died at your hand, and were cast away like so much refuse. All to scour the desert for some artifact. Even now you haggle for flesh, safe in the Karwan Sarai. You prefer your victims chained and starved. It is time you faced a man unbound. Another one of those crazy missions, y'all. So now it says assassinate Al Jor. Al Jor revealed as Masud Ayal Kub is a member of the order who preys on the desperate and this 
disenfranchised, forcing them to dig the desert for reasons unknown. One way he achieves this is by using his public status as a soap mill owner to quietly acquire migrant laborers eager for the promise of a livelihood. The Carvin Sari is where he conducts such dealings. Look for distractions, opportunities to lure Al Jewel out. Mm. Gotta look for distractions. So we're gonna have to play this smart then. Cool. So we want to try to get him to um come out somehow. I will be watching. Survey the area. Wanna discover some things with our eagle. See what things are, scope out the place first. See what I can find in the area. Gotta get him to come out. Okay. I feel like there's some more things too. So we gotta get old boy's attention. The stage is yours, Basil. I will be watching. Appreciate it. Can look for distraction opportunities. Let's see what this guy's talking about over here. What is the delay? I am not certain. What delays your departure, friend? Someone by the name of Mas'ud saw fit to inspect my wares. And so, here I wait. Who does he think he is? What is it you are carrying? I ask only so that I may collect it for you. Would you do that? I would take great joy in seeing that man in a fit of anger. It is a crate of silks and spices. Ready your camel. I will see what I can do. I if I can get that merchant to leave, his abrupt border, departure may lure and Al-Hul out. We will be here until next sundown. Who? Oh. Hey, and silks. There cannot be too many of those around. We were promised steady work and fruitful returns. Now we're being made to slog in the desert. We were deceived. Please, you must help us. Tell me what I can do to help. The man who brought us has a deed that binds us to Mas'ud. If he has not collected his fee, he should still be here. If I can relieve these men of their duty, it will not be long before al Ghul catches wind of his disbanded workforce.
keep calm. thing to happen upon perhaps I can use this to my advantage hmm pungent this must be the caravan merchants crate those two men are having a loud dispute but not loud enough how might I push them over the edge?
Greetings, my friend. What sorts of goods are you traveling with? Ivory and honey. And you? Are you seeking to trade? Perhaps. For now, I will browse for a little longer. Hey, what? Hold up! Here, dog! That's you! <laughs> I think it is. Is this your crate? Ah, it is indeed. The guards returned it to you. In a manner of speaking. Very good, very good. I must repay you. You seem like a man who enjoys a good meal. Care for some spice? Not today, no. But I will ask that you loudly proclaim your departure. Make sure Mas'ud notices. <laughs> we share the same mind. My thanks to you, ya sadiqi. The guards will be ever vigilant. Come back to the way of peace. Where is the sword? He must face the law. Travelers, are you fresh from the bazaar and new laden with goods? Do you worry how you will bear them back from whence you came? Then seek out Asif the camel seller for the best piece of burden you ever <laughs> Just passing through. Coward. I defy Very anyone nice. to find better than the empire. My mission is to make you happy, friend. Name your price. How about the rounds of fun?
Turn your hate inward, Masoud. It is your wickedness that has led you here. Wickedness? To whom? The unenlightened? The feeble who have cast their lot? It is our divine will to rule over them. Our duty to exact their contribution. Contribution? To what? To what could be. The very knowledge of which lies buried beneath these sands. Some things are meant to stay that way. No, 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 no. These are gifts destined to be recovered. They speak to us, as you well know. Me? Oh, yes. The hidden one you may be, but not just. Buddy up. That was vicious. It says when you are conflict trigger action focused with right to execute the perfect sequence of assassination while assassination focus is active. Select which enemies to target with R1 and then press X when done. And then by seeing will perform the assassination sequence automatically replenish the focus bar by focusing stealth. I mean by performing stealth kills in order to be able to use the ability again. Mm. Oh, that's cold as hell. So, in order to get your focus bar, you gotta perform uh, stealth kills yeah. and stuff. Crazy. Basin. Clear your mind. al relentless pursuit at the expense of human lives has come to an end. It is a day of victory, not only for those spared of his cruelty, but for the hidden ones. The Order's grand plot in Baghdad may still be a mystery, but we can at least be certain al Ghul's role in it has been vanquished. I believe what he sought to uncover were more strange objects, like the one I took from the Winter Palace. What does the Order want with these relics of the past? And why guard them with so much effort? You are beginning to ask the right questions, Basim. We shall find the answers together. Lately, all I have are questions. What do you mean? Nothing. Forget I said anything. How am I to guide you if you will not speak openly? 
I have... I have... struggled with nightmares. In these dreams, a jinni torments me until I wake up panicked and soaked with sweat. In Alamut, I had nearly forgotten about it. But when I killed Alhul, I felt its presence again. And I am left asking why? Why here? Why now? Why me? Piling questions and no answers. I meant to tell you, but... You were afraid I would think you weak of mind. We are only as weak as we allow ourselves to be. To shed a weakness, you must do what is necessary to mend that which causes you pain. Will you permit me a brief respite? I wish to seek out an old friend. Niha? I remember. She is important to you, isn't she? She is. But last we spoke, I led her to believe otherwise. This causes you pain. Then go and heal this wound without delay. Find me at the Harbeya Bureau when it is settled. If that was indeed Nihal, I have not a clue where she went. Well, that was Back a... Back home in Anbar, maybe. That was a crazy episode, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed it, man. This was episode number six. Again, if you guys are enjoying the series, man, be sure to leave a thumbs up. It helps out the channel tremendously. I'm absolutely enjoying this game so far, man. I love the combat. It just gives you that Assassin's Creed feel. The outfit is fire. Like, just everything is clean, bro. We got to sit here and upgrade our weapons, too, at the um, Hidden Ones uh, Merchant to make our weapons even stronger. But as you guys can see in the bottom right corner, we all want it. And when we want to get unwanted, we either have to take wanted posters off the wall that they have of us. Or we have to just go to one of the people to pay them. And then they could just break the contract or the wanted contract up entirely. But that costs. But yeah, I'm absolutely enjoying this game, man. Graphics are just so pretty, bro. Beautiful, man. I can't even sit here and lie to y'all, man. Graphics looking so fresh and so clean, clean on PC. But anyways, we got more gameplays on our way. Stay tuned for that. Also, guys, if you'd like to be notified at that every single video I post, man, be sure to hit that notification bell. And with all that being said, man, it's your boy Kobe. And I'm going to see y'all boys. And I'll see y'all boys. Peace. Sheesh.